National Department of Health, along with uh, the Minister of Social Development, Henrietta Bukhupane Zulu, and Deputy Minister of Higher Education and Science and Innovation, Butima Namela, hosted a number of young people for an honest conversation on COVID-19 vaccines and their opportunities for work, study, and travel in the post-peak of the pandemic. The youth-led conversation took place at the Twane South TVET College in Pretoria West uh, yesterday. It served as the official launch of the hashtag Get Ready program of action for young people. The conversation addressed many issues that have been raised by young people. To give us more on what came out of this, we are now joined in um, by medical doctor Busi Kabane. Dr. Busi Kabane, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Interesting um, topic to raise, especially when it comes to how young people have perceived COVID 19 and their attitude on getting vaccinated. You were out there to inform young people, perhaps going on an educational drive. What did you uncover? Um, thank you for having me in the studio. Um, definitely. Um, I think it's a high time sort of we had a focus on young people, especially seeing that the numbers of vaccination are lowest within the 18 to 34 group. So with our launch yesterday, you know, we were able to just sit down, have a frank conversation young person to young person about why we're vaccinating, why we're not vaccinating, and sort of how do we get to the sort of post-COVID world that we're all envisioning. Young people spoke about the constricting effects um, of the pandemic and, and what that, that has done to, to their freedom. And they, they really voiced their concerns with the, the vaccine and also spoke about going on board to ensure that they do their part in eradicating the virus. Definitely, definitely. Even as a young person myself, you know, I know firsthand how this COVID period has sort of been a stolen youth moment for us. And we're really able to sort of relate on that. And sort of moving forward, it's like, how do we open up job opportunities, travel, you know, music concerts, festivals, really just things that young people care about again. And, you know, really like getting on board as vaccination is sort of the gateway to sort of reintroducing ourselves to the world. <laughs> Young people have been uh, speaking about how government sometimes doesn't seem to, to understand them or, or hear their needs when it comes to opportunities in, in of course, uh, adding to the economy and um, other aspects of, of, of a young person's journey. What came out very strongly here when it comes to young people and their attitude to vaccination and perhaps how the, the, the hashtag get ready program may change some minds? Uh, definitely, I agree. I think a lot of the messaging from government has really been sort of speaking over young people, deciding for them, sort of telling them what to do, instead of sort of bringing them in the conversation to sort of determine their own futures. But I definitely think from, from the launch, you know, we were able to sort of sit down, even with the minister, to have a really even informal conversation about what affects young people today and sort of how getting vaccinated can sort of open up opportunities if for, for young people. What were some of the fears that uh, were, were expressed during this, uh, you know, back and forth, the conversation? What were the main concerns that young people spoke of when it comes to getting the vaccine? Um, I think generally for a lot of young people, um, there's a lot of myths sort of circulating around the COVID vaccine online, on WhatsApp groups, and sort of their own personal experiences of having lost someone or knowing someone who had the severe illness and was admitted to ICU. And during that session, you know, we were able to go into those myths, you know, talk about how it affects fertility, how it affects all sexual health. Um, how it also, we also went into more of the conspiracy theories around microchips, Bill Gates. Um, it was a really good session to sort of debunk a lot of the information, or rather misinformation, that's being shared online to young people. And how, how will the conversation 
uh, continue throughout this, this time to ensure that there is the back and forth and that young people continue to feel engaged by government and understood so that at the end of it all, there is a better understanding of the importance of getting vaccinated? Yes, so um, th this is basically the whole point of the Get Ready campaign. We're going to be engaging young people online, um, on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or under Get Ready SA. And also we have a website, getready.co.za. Um, and basically there we're going to be holding, you know, live conversations around the myths, live conversations around young people's experiences, um, as well, and also we're looking to bring in more young doctors and other young health professionals, nurses, you know, OTs, uh, physiotherapists, to sort of join us uh, along on this revolution to have these conversations with young people. Absolutely. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Let's leave it there for now. Dr. Busi Gabane speaking to the hashtag Get Ready program that is uh, really about ensuring that young people feel like they're a part of the conversation and encouraging the vaccination drive.